Hey Elliot, how's it going? I'm having some trouble filming. My dog keeps hiding my filming gear and I can't find oh, it. Oh no, how are you gonna film the tutorial then? Don't worry, I have a friend who can help. She should be here in three, two, one. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to create gradient text in Filmora 10. All right, all, let's go. Hi everyone, this is Clary from Wanna Share from More to empower your inner video creator. Before you start, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our new videos. Text and titles are always essential for videos. Sometimes the color of the text would even indicate the vibe of a video. Now let me show you the first way to pull out gradient text in Filmora 10. Let's create a basic text by going to the title tab at the top and find the plain text category. I'll grab this title as my example. Drag and drop the title on the timeline and double click on it to open the settings panel on the top left. I will change the text to say hello and choose my favorite font and set the text size to 120. Now click on the advanced button to open the advanced editing window. Go to the Customize panel on the left to find the Text Field section. Choose Gradient Field from the drop-down menu. Now, I can see two color options for me to choose from. I'm going to choose Light Blue and Purple. I can also change the angle of the gradient from the angle setting here, but I'll keep it as zero for this example. You can also add some animation in the Animation tab on the left to customize your text even more. Now, let's check out how it looks. If you really like gradient text, the next tip I'm going to show you will let you create your text with an animated gradient. First, choose the text you like from the title panel. I will choose this one as an example Drag and drop it onto the second track of the timeline. Double click on the text clip to open the setting panel. I'll change my text to hello again. Adjust the font and size of it and click OK. Make sure to make all the adjustment to the text in this step. Later, we will be taking a snapshot of the text so the font and text won't be changeable. Go to the color sample section in the media library Drag and drop the black color clip to the first video track. Take a snapshot by clicking on the bottom right camera icon in the viewer. Since I don't need the original text and color sample anymore, I can delete both clips on the timeline. Find the snapshot in the media library under Project Media. Drag and drop the snapshot onto the second video track. Double click on the snapshot clip. Go to the video settings on the top left. Find the compositing section and change the blending mode to multiply. Then click OK. Now, go to the color sample folder again in the media library to choose a gradient color sample. I'll choose the purple one here. Drag and drop it onto the first video track and align it with the snapshot. I can see the gradient clip through the text because I previously set the blending mode of the snapshot to multiply. To make the gradient move, I'm going to add some keyframes to the position of the gradient clip. Double click on the gradient clip, then go to the top left panel and click on animation. Select customize animation and move the play hat to the beginning of the clip to get ready for the next step. To create a first keyframe, I'll move the gradient clip to the left of the frame before I lose any letter in color. Move the playhead ahead for about one second. Reposition the gradient clip to far frame right before I lose any letters on the left. Add a couple more keyframes with different position as needed. Play back from the timeline to check out how it looks. Looks good. Now, I'll add some default effects that I think are cool to add in this effect. You can also try some other effects from the default presets. Go to Element panel on the top left. 
find the fun section and add the pink energy to the beginning of the clip. And to add some glow to the text, I will go to effect panel here and find glow effect in the common folder. Let's take a look at the final result. These are the two ways to create gradient text using Fomora 10. Which color are you going to pick for your gradient text? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button for new videos. Keep creating!